<laughs> and let's add some custom horse armor to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding courses available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Oh, we're going to find some more. And in this tutorial, we're going to add custom horse armor to Minecraft. And listen, the intros are going to get more and more insane as this series will progress, okay? That is the only way I keep my sanity. But of course, custom horse armor, let's get to the relevant stuff right here. And custom horse armor is actually more straightforward than you might think. However, a few things change due to the fact that in 121, wolf armor was introduced. They now have a new class called animal armor. So it's a little bit more generic. But let's just see. In our mod items class, we're going to add a public static final registry object, crazily enough, of type item and this is going to be our alexandrite underscore alexandrite underscore horse underscore armor equal to the items dot register method there we go and the name of course is also alexandrite underscore horse underscore armor with the second parameter being a supplier of a new and this is it an animal armor item first passing in mod armor materials dot alexandrite armor material the second parameter is going to be the body type. So we can actually just type in body type and you can see we either have canine or equestrian. In this case, it's of course equestrian, right? Because it's a custom horse armor and false. And then here we have new item dot properties, item dot properties dot. And here we want to say stacks to one. And with this, we have it done. So this is going to be our Alexandroid horse armor. Very straightforward for the time being. And then let's just like go through adding it first of all to the creative mode tab because that is a such an easy thing to forget over here and we can add a translation i mean really nothing too spectacular when it comes to the item texture well the item texture is obviously well probably one of the easier things however then it comes back to the texture for the actual model and that is in textures and then we make a new directory called entity into there another new directory called horse and so there, another new directory called armor. And once again, making sure this is the American spelling. And inside of there, we want the horse underscore armor underscore alexandroid.png. Both this particular PNG as well as the item of texture are, of course, both available for download down below in the description, including the GitHub repository where all of the code is available as well. And that is it. So this is the horse armor, basically, that is needed for well, the horse to have a, a model around it, basically. And last but certainly not least, we can also add the data gen for the item model. That is going to be as easy as simply having a, uh, this is a basic item. This is a basic item again, crazily enough. This is just going to be the horse armor right here. And that is it. I believe this should pretty much be everything we need. Like I said, there's not too crazy of a difference over here. We're now just using the animal armor item as opposed to the, well, the horse armor item that we had before. And so let's run the data over here and... Once that is through, we have the JSON file generated for our item. And once that is through, we can jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, I'm back in Minecraft. You can see I already tamed myself a horse right here. And what I can do is, well, I can either, you know, open the inventory or I can also just right click it. And you can see there we freaking go. We have an animal or rather a horse, right? A nay <laughs> with custom horse armor. How freaking cool is that? I would say that is pretty cool. Don't you approve? Yeah, let's go. As per usual, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial in here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom armor trim material and a custom trim pattern. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.